Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, we are going through a loot farm that is also going to gather XP at the same time, so you will level up off this. But you'll also get a load of loot, a load of money, all that cool stuff in the game. You can do this incredibly early. I am currently level 9, and you can do this with any boss in the game. The later level bosses are going to actually be like, probably harder because they're higher level. But the more loot you get, the faster you level up, the better you get your build together, the easier this will be. So right now, if we take a look at my inventory, I am running Creeper of the Storm and I've got Apex of Rushing Rivers. Basically, what you want to do with this, because a lot of people are going to struggle with the bosses, and I've struggled with this too. What I would recommend is running something that is going to restore your health when you deal damage. So anything that's got lifesteal on it, essentially. That's why I'm running Apex of Rushing Rivers. But then I'm also running something that's highly effective against armor. So it's going to take the armor down really, really quick, and then I can jump in there with the lifesteal. So you've got to try and think of the best way you can possibly deal with all the different bosses in the game that you're going to do this for. And realistically, you want to do this with a boss where there are vending machines outside the arena. So if we head over to the map, I'm not far into the game at all. But if I go to the world map, so I pressed Y on my Xbox controller. If you have a look, Bright Hoof is here, or Bright Hoof, whatever you want to call it. If we zoom out a little bit, this is the world map. And from here, southeast, you've got Shatter Grave Barrow. If you view the zone, you would have already like got to this part of the game already if you've made it to Bright Hoof and done some of the quests in there. But when you are here, if you use your D-pad and go to Local Travel, you want to go to Shatter Grave Barrow, the Grave Nave. When you are here, this place will be familiar if you've made it this far in the game. You want to come down here, there will be a room with a couple of enemies, although I'm pretty sure you can just ignore them. And whilst we are running there, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, all support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get back to it. So, as we run through, you do not need to engage in any combat at all. Just try and make sure that you don't get wrecked. That's going to be the one problem. But when you've made it all the way through, you're going to receive a checkpoint. You'll see that we can't use this one. This is just a checkpoint in the area. It's not a fast travel beacon or whatever you want to call it. But there are also vending machines here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop down here. And Zomboss is going to spawn. What we're going to do is we're going to take out Zomboss. So I'm going to get rid of the armor. And make sure when you're doing this, you're using all of your new loot to keep your item score up. So that you're still, in terms of damage, you're still relative to the boss. You're not like far too underpowered. You want to, like realistically with Zomboss at least, you want to try and just make your way around the arena. Keep using your spell. Use your action skill, all that stuff. And then what I'm going to do, because there's no longer armor, I'm going to just use the life steal. So that if I do lose my shield, I can just claim all the health back. So come around here, deal with a couple of ads, but try and keep some alive in case you do go down. And there we go. We have a huge pile of loot. So I'm going to grab all of the money. You will probably find better bosses to do this with. I'm going to check out the loot. Like 120s, 130s, 170s and stuff. They're not really worth taking to the vendor machines to sell. But what you want to do after you've taken down the boss is just pause your game and quit. Then when you get back to the main menu, you want to play game and continue. Then when you get back in, you will spawn at the vending machines. So any loot you've picked up that's worth quite a bit of money, you can just sell straight away. You just simply drop back in and Zomboss is going to spawn again. Now fingers crossed this time, I get some better loot. See, even after, like, that's what's going to happen when you're fighting these bosses. 
I've realized that my AR is so much better than my other weapon, even though that has life steal. So that's just going to be a complete secondary option. But there we go, taking the boss down. We've got a load more loot. Even got ourselves an achievement for region level 10. That's only worth 107. That's 171. But now I'm level 10. The next time I come in, the boss is going to level up. But I'm going to get level 10 drops. So you gain XP from doing this, but you're going to get a load of loot at the same time. You're going to get money. And as I said, you can do this with any boss in the game. So I'm going to pick that up. It's worth 170. So we come back in. Zomboss is level 11. And I'm still using the same weapons. So it'd be really nice if I got a couple of good loot drops. So I could switch it out. And obviously the higher your level, the more you've done in the game. The higher your loot luck's going to be. And that's what you're really, like, trying to focus on. Because when you get to the end game, like, I mean, in Borderlands 3, you had a boss called Grave Ward. And he was amazing for doing this with. You'd drop down into the arena, you'd kill him, you'd get a load of legendaries and everything. You'd quit out the game, load back in, rinse and repeat, and just farm. Levels, loot, everything. You'll see at the bottom, 3,600 XP is what I'm getting for this. And I need to switch out the weapon because... This is absolutely dreadful. Don't forget that in Tiny Tina's Wonderland, you can favorite your items so you don't accidentally sell them. It's going to save you a lot of hassle. I've done it with all my legendaries and the AR that I've been using. It's a level 8 requirement, but it seems to be doing really well against this boss. Whoa, would you take a look at that? I am level 11, and I got a legendary... Buff Meister of Rejuvenation. It increases direct damage dealt by 12, lasts for 8 seconds. It's got 20% spell damage, a minus 27% spell cooldown. It's highly effective against wards. And then it says self cast, casts around the owner, increases the Fate Maker's power, bonk pew. It's got a 100% crit chance. I'm gonna have to try that. So, right there, I sold all my junk. It was about three and a half grand I got. This is getting better and better the more I'm leveling up. I've gone from, what was I, level 8 all the way up to level 13. If you look at the bottom of the screen, level 13. So I've gone up 5 levels and I've gone up about 27,000 money. Now that is pretty good considering I am a low level. You will find bosses later in the game that are going to award you with more loot and there's different legendaries to go for and stuff. There are also other just like loot farming spots in general. You've just got to make sure that there is vending machines in the area so you can sell your loot. There is a checkpoint nearby so you don't have long to travel. And then you just test out all the new loot, the things that might be like actually decent. If you have a look here, I'm using Pit and Rod of the Craftsman. That is a level 11 weapon. I'm two levels above that, and that is the best thing I've had to take this boss down. It deals so much damage in a quick time. So, I'm going to continue testing every new drop, and I'm only going to switch that out farming this boss when I find something that is more efficient, when it's better to run with. So that is how to farm bosses, essentially farm loot, get loads of money and everything in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And that is going to wrap this video up. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.